What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Austin Nerd Show. Today we're looking at the new Hasbro Fortnite G.I. Joe crossover of Snake Eyes, the Zero Point Edition. So this is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive figure and it's Snake Eyes as he appeared in the Fortnite game. And so he has more of the Fortnite cartoony appearance and comes with a lot of accessories for that. So first we have the outer box here, which looks cool. So again, with that more animated style version of Snake Eyes there, which looks really cool. I love that artwork design and just the colors around and stuff. And if we spin it around, we can see on the back what the figure is going to look like and then a lot of the accessories so we get a lot of Fortnite related accessories with this and then it just has this outer sleeve that we can go ahead and slide off and underneath we have this Fortnite G.I. Joe and then Snake Eye Zero Point Edition with these little doors that open up so we have this kind of neat box design that opens up to reveal the figure there so there we have the Snake Eyes and then all the accessories that he comes with so again it's just another Snake Eye so we get another classified version of Snake Eyes just that looks a little bit different with being from the Fortnite series so I hope this figure is cool and different than the others well, of course we'll have to compare them but let me go and get them open and out of the box and we'll take a look at it together. So here I got the snake eyes out of the box and overall it looks pretty much just like all the other snake eyes. We've had very little differences and of course I'll bring all the different snake eyes in to compare them just to see them. It is just the exact same figure as before, just recolored. So I don't know exactly what took them so long to get this figure out. I thought it was going to look much different and much more like the cartoony sort of version from Fortnite. I thought it was going to be different, but as I said, it looks exactly like the other figures. So I don't know what the deal was with this. I just know it comes with the different accessories and has some different looks on it like it has the G.I. Joe sort of star logo there on the shoulders but beyond that it looks you know exactly the same like I said it just is a little bit different colors and then we'll look through the different ones there so again I don't know exactly why it took them so long to get this figure out when they pretty much already had it all they had to do was repaint it and then just add the new Fortnite accessories but overall it's just Snake Guy from Fortnite which was an epic outfit in the game and a part of his story is that he's a character from Reality 10155 that was hired by Agent Jones to prevent anyone from escaping the loop so whatever that has to do with Fortnite. I don't play the game so I don't really know what any of that means but overall it looks pretty cool just like Snake Eyes we've seen before so it looks you know just like Snake Eyes just in all black has the silver visor on his face like I said the Joe logos Arashikage logo there on his chest and on the belt again all black so nothing's going to be different They're pretty much all black except for on like the thigh pads and stuff there where it's gray and then he does have the holster so he has like the whole gun with the holster here but it's mounted in as well as the knife here so neither of those come out again all black leg design so again you can see he's all smooth and shiny and everything up top but then has the matte color sort of legs with the texture in it just like the other figures have knee pads and then the boots with the shiny coverings on the front and then it has that sort of like toe design in there and the only thing that's really different about this one specifically that we already have on is that it has the bandolier with the boogie bombs on it so that's the only thing that really makes and signifies that this is different besides the colors because it is different that it's all black and just the color design does make it look different from all the others but it's pretty much just the exact same figure just recolored but let's go and do his movement so it's going to be the same as all the others we've seen but the head can twist all the way around and he can look down that far and up that far so really good movements in the neck and it does sort of feel yeah there's an additional neck joint down in here so it allows better moving back and forth then we get the shoulders that come up to just under 90 there because of like this hump on the shoulder so come up there rotate all the way around and it does have like the butterfly joint there but they don't really do much there I guess as you loosen up it gets more so it does have that butterfly joint there then we get a bicep twist that twists all the way around the double elbow joint that bends up that far at least so not too bad over 90 at least and then we get the wrist that can twist around and flex back and forth for the gun hand we've got the ab crunch in the middle here so i like the cutouts on the gi joes so crunch forward there and crunch back so really good crunching there and then has also the additional joint at the waist so that's where we get the twist and then also rocks back and forth there so he gets really good movement forward and backwards as well with both of those combinations in there then we get the hips that can come up to 90 probably a little bit over there yeah and then out to the side and the gi joes do have the drop down hips so if you want to get them back you just push them back up in there thigh twist all the way around a double knee joint that bends up that far to the back. Ooh, very close to kicking his own butt. Shin twist at the top of the boot, and then the foot flexes back and forth and can twist side to side. So overall, he has really good movements, which makes sense. But overall, he has the same issue as, as a lot of the other G.I. Joe figures with as you start to move the joints, he starts to become like floppy and everything. He's obviously not as bad. Like I'm able to get him to stand pretty easy, but a lot of times we have issues with the feet getting him to stand. And I know some of the other snake eyes have that issue. So that I don't know what it is with the classified series, how they get like floppy 
and start not being able to stand very easily, but he is not too bad, but he is starting to get there. Now he comes with a lot of gun accessories as you saw in the pack, so we have a lot of stuff to look at. So I guess we'll start out first. He comes with an additional hand that has a ninja star in it. So there we have the ninja star design. So we can switch that for the left hand there to have him throwing a ninja star, which is cool. We get his harvesting tool for the game. So in the game you have harvesting tools that you usually store on your back and it's a tool that you use to like tear down buildings and everything. So for him, it was his sword. So we get the sheet there. So we have the nice sheet design with the Arashi Kage logo on it. And then we get his morning star sword, his katana sword, which looks really cool. I love the design of this. So it's cool that we have this. So let's go and stick this onto his back. So it's stored where it should be. And you can see the bandolier has the design on it with the hole so you can slide in between the two. So there we have the sheath on his back. And unfortunately his bandolier is a little floppier now, but then we can take the morning star out and put it into his hand. But let's try the other weapons first. And for the rest of the weapons, they're all Fortnite inspired. So first off we get a grenade. So just your standard grenade there. I like the green canister with some of the blue inside. And of course the lid trigger and pin piece design and stuff. So that's awesome. A little bit big. So I don't know exactly how we would hold this unless you can only hold it by this part, but nice big old canister there. We also get a boogie bomb. So a bomb that goes off and it starts like a disco. So as a disco ball design, again, the pin and the trigger and all that with all the lights and stuff that match the ones that are on his chest there. So nice big bomb as well as a chill grenade. So you can see it's got a snowman style head with the X's on the eyes and nose and stuff. So it's supposed to be a snowman that I assume creates like ice and stuff or people to freeze and everything, but looks pretty cool design there. Then we start to get like some actual weapons. So first off we have a harpoon launcher. So we have this nice gun design here with the harpoon. So we have the nice big like grapple hook on the end of it and then the cord going down to where it's all wound up in there. So this is a gun that we can try and put into his hand. So there he's got the harpoon gun, which looks a little bit big and oversized. So much like the grenades that are way too big for the hands, the guns look a little bit too oversized as well, which like fits for the Fortnite look, but doesn't really fit too good for him. But there he's just got the harpoon gun. We also get a clinger. So I assume this has maybe has to do with the harpoon gun. I've only ever seen these in the games, like in videos, but I don't know exactly how they work, but it's got the big plunger design on it. So you can shoot it in like plunges to stuff. And then you, I think you can zip across it, but it looks pretty cool just with the overall design. And I believe, yeah, it actually have some function where like the plunger head actually can like twist around and stuff in here. So that's kind of cool. So I guess you could like stick this into his hand again. Not exactly sure what you do with it though. Then we also get the shockwave launcher. So this like grenade launcher that creates shockwaves I'd assume by the name of. So we have these grenades in here with the nice blue color on them. Looks very awesome. So let's try and put this in his hand. So there are snake eyes with the shockwave launcher and that overall looks pretty cool. Nice grenade launcher there in his hand. So that is cool. And finally we get a weapon that fits most with snake eyes of the submachine gun. So just a little gun here. Now if it's all black it probably fit perfect with him but since it's Fortnite, it has like this light gray design on it as well so we can put this in his hand so there's snake eyes with the submachine gun which is cool and if you didn't notice he does have trigger fingers on both hands so you can put weapons in each hand if you want but overall i think that looks pretty cool there but of course with snake eyes the best thing is having his katana and since it's his harvest area they usually kind of two-handed so you can only really hold that at once so let's take this out and put the katana in his hands so there we have snake eyes with his morning star katana and that looks pretty cool so he's double handing it to be his harvesting tool much like in the game so that overall looks pretty cool and pretty awesome just overall for snake eyes i do like the design like it's probably out of like the basic snake eyes like this it's probably my favorite just because he's in the all black where the others have different like variations to it and the nice silver visor and stuff but we do have other versions so let's go and bring them in maybe one at a time so we can see the differences so first off we have the basic i believe original version of snake eyes so this was the very first one we got i think it was like an exclusive version of some sort came with the nice big box so that video is on the channel and i believe these are pretty much exactly the same so that again i mentioned the color differences where this one has sort of like this army greenish gray color so like on the pants and on the weapon and stuff there where this new one has the mostly all black so these two are probably the closest alike just the color changes with the black and then we have the next two closest versions which are like i believe like the basic release versions but we have the normal one and then the version two version so i did the video with all the redeco versions of all the characters they re-released and i believe that's what this version is but again these are going to be pretty much exactly the same have the all black the fortnite one has the colors of like gray on the legs where these two don't but I like having the silver visor more on this one where those other ones don't but again they're all the exact same body design and stuff share the same body as that last one I showed so there's not much difference between these again just minor color changes and then one that's not very close at all is the commando version of snake eyes so again the old like classic looking version of the original design of snake eyes so those two don't look anywhere near alike and finally we have the movie version that I really like a lot I said when I did this video is probably my overall favorite design of snake eyes just I love this look but there you can see them again nowhere near because this one's obviously based off a movie compared to a video game but either way I think overall this body would have probably served much better to fit in with the video game design just the overall smoothness and that it's not the exact same as all the others so like I said I feel they should have had a different look just overall and being from Fortnite and I think the movie version 
one would have probably fit more of that design. Unfortunately, they just took the old one and recolored it. But there is all the snake eyes together. So we have six of them total. Of course, these two are pretty much the exact same figure, just the minor change to it. But otherwise, we now have five different versions of snake eyes that are all like combinations of each other, especially these three here with our new Fortnite one here in the middle. Of course, these two are almost nothing alike. But like I said, it's unfortunate that they did a lot of reuse with this one. I figured it'd be a whole new sculpt. And like I said, especially with it taking as long as it did, but kind of disappointed it turned out the way it did. But as I said earlier, though, out of all the Snakos, this is probably one of my favorites because it combines a lot of the looks that I like along with that silver visor, so it makes it different. So the only thing that's not good about this one specifically is having the bandolier, so I'll probably have to take it off so it doesn't have any of the Fortnite features. But overall, it's a pretty nice figure. The only thing that stinks is that the weapons are molded in there, so you get two less weapons, I guess. But since we got all the Fortnite items, I guess it makes sense. But for us, those aren't nearly as important. So overall, this was probably not a good purchase since you had to pay more for it, but then it's not much better or different or anything compared to the other. So probably a waste of money. So if you didn't get it, I probably wouldn't say you missed out on anything unless you specifically love like Fortnite and wanted to have those weapons to go with it. But overall, the figure itself is not bad. But let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And if you enjoyed my review, let me know with a thumbs up. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.